Alright guys, hi it's me again Zero Witzer and we're back with this beautiful item. It's called the All Iron Consumable. It grants a random buff or debuff. Uh, it's not a concoction, it's actually consumable but it is an infinite use. So if you want to know if you got a random buff or debuff, so here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use it but it doesn't really say what kind of buff or debuff that you have but in general if it's an arrow facing downwards it is a debuff and here's how you can check go to your character hover your mouse over and this is a debuff so for me if you decided to use this consumable right before boss fight and you do happen to get a debuff just use this skull potion called liquid escape it is also a consumable infinite use as well I had it tied to my quick slot. I don't want it and I'm too lazy to go back to the checkpoint. I'm just gonna do this. Brings me back to the checkpoint. And the debuff is gone. It's not there anymore. So you can keep repeating this process until you have a buff. Which is... This. There you go guys. It is pretty random. Don't know what you're getting. Alright guys, wonder what you have to do if you ever come across uh, this NPC right here. And the map is Brockwood Quarter and you should be able to see from this map layout there's only a location with this many NPCs. So to activate it, what you have to do is you have to find two missing children which would be scattered around the map. And you have to defeat the mobs and basically escort the children back into this orphanage. And once you have that, then you can move to the second phase. You'll have to fight some of these bosses or do some of this event. So this is the tic-tac-toe event. If you let the person win, you get cursed. The Night Weaver. I believe this is the Red Ogre or the Were Red. These are the council members, the poison boss, um, the slime boss, or the blob boss, I forgot which one. I still don't know what boss this is. And this is the second boss that you encounter, aside from the first one where you actually fight during the tutorial. This is the fairing and failing boss, an event that you have to save this guy from, the red prince or the red king. And this is the feast event. So once you completed all of these events or defeated all of these bosses, you can come back here, wait till her machine stops and you can talk to her. When you talk to her, you will get this consumable, the all-seeing eye. This is actually infinite uses. So if you feel being risky, you can use it. And she will also give you a trait called Recovery, which allows you to regen your stamina. So those two items are what you can get when you complete all of the bosses in the event and you come back here. So yeah guys, have fun!